Morning. <coughs> Morning. Uh, better. Um. Yeah. I don't know why, but I've woken up in a really, really good mood, and it's great. And it's probably because my computer turned on and is playing uh, Nina Simone. Of course. Cool. Listen. Listen. Uh, good song, good song. Happy time. Um, you should do that. Wake up to a song. It's fun. Um, the weather's kind of half decent as well, which... Actually, I'm lying, it's not half decent at all. It's grey, with slight uh, spots of sunshine here and there, but I'm in a good mood, which is good, because I've got lots of stuff to do today. Um, I'm not making the dress. I've decided I'm going to cheat. So we're going to go to Primark in Oxford Street. Ah, that should be interesting. I bet you, I bet you they asked me to leave. They probably asked me to leave. But you never know until you try, and I've got to try, because I've got to have a dress done of some description by tomorrow and stuff. Um, yeah, I've got, this is really random, I've got, uh, I've got a date coming over this evening, and I'm cooking for them and stuff. Um, and I'd love to film it just to see how it reacts to me eating in Zentai. He's already seen me in Zentai. Um, because it was that random dinner party that I went to on Sunday and he seems to, you know, come over to, uh, tonight. So, um, yeah, it's a real, real shame that I haven't got, uh, any fly-in-the-wall style filming capabilities and he probably wouldn't want to be seen anyway because I'm so different. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, I had an interview yesterday, by the way. Uh, I'll type a little bit about it in a minute. And, um, uh, yeah, it was from the Daily Beast, uh, uh, online kind of news site, opinion site thing. Um, and the guy's doing an article on Zentai and stuff. So, uh, I gave my, uh, angle on it, which is not the sexual, because a lot of people seem to ask me what how does it make you feel better da, da, da. I'll do a long post on that because lycra for me is really really normal because I've been wearing it since I was five as a trade-off because I wouldn't wear clothes as a kid and my mom said fine um, if you if, if you wear cycling shorts that was the first thing my mom got me to wear if you wear cycling shorts um, will you keep them on? And I said, no, 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 I will remain naked, I enjoy being naked, being the rebellious little child that I was. Um, but she bought them anyway, and I absolutely loved them. So most of my childhood, until I moved uh, from home, was spent um, wearing cycling shorts and leggings and leotard. And I had the most funkiest pair, I just remembered, I had the funkiest pair of... Um, multicolored kind of like uh tie no not tie dye the colors were very neat but they were very mixed and they're like splodges and dots and lines and all sorts of things of different colors um leotards that i absolutely adored and i was so distraught when that it finally just kind of gave up in um kind of being so, uh, yeah, they were quite loose, and then I didn't like them, and I protested, and there was a nude revolution in the house <laughs> that lasted, oh, a few days. Yes, a few days. Um, it was interesting trying to be forced to go to school whilst being completely naked. I did wear clothes eventually because I wanted to go see my friends. So the clothes won. The clothes won. But, yeah. Um, so for me, Zen Zentai, not, not so much Zentai, Lycra is a normal thing. My arms actually start to get really freaking tired now. Um, lycra is a really normal thing for me. So, uh, like women who wear tights and pantyhose and all of that stuff, I don't think about it, and even when I do, it's like, I'm wearing it, and that's it. There's not really anything beyond that. Um, that said, if someone else is wearing it, and, you know, there's the whole contact thing, then it's kind of like, hello. 
you know. <laughs> That's probably about as far as it goes with me, because it's, 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 I, I love my skin way too much. Um, there's nothing better than standing in a forest completely naked, <laughs> knowing that you could get caught. Um, and you do get caught standing in a tree, uh, but that's a completely different story that happened in Virginia Waters. Um, yeah, the children saw me in the tree and they kind of went, Mommy, what's that person doing in the tree? And I stood still. I stood so still because I didn't want to be noticed and done for indecent exposure or whatever it is uh, people get paranoid over. But the, the parents looked up and I looked straight at them, completely stark bullet naked. I looked at them. And they didn't see me. It was just, hey, it was great. And the kids were like, no, look, 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 look. And the parents were looking and looking and like, we were just seeing things. I kept on walking. And I had to stay like that for another 10 minutes because the tree was that high. Um, and yeah, that, that was, that was uh, interesting. So uh, there's, there's, it's all fun to me. That's, that's what it boils down to. You know, people are thinking, oh, is there a, is there a sexual side? It's, yeah, it's sensual, I guess, but so is my skin. In fact, my skin's the most sensual thing on me. And I would never want to go that. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, that, that was a, a nice little example of stuff. And I'll write more stuff. But today, I need to go get a dress. I need to go buy a grill that I should have bought yesterday. But, um, the electric blanket. Oh, you can see my electric blanket now. Um, ah, that. Nah. Still recording, sorry. Bloody button, it's right underneath my thumb, and that's why my shoulder's hurting, because, okay, um, yeah, this, uh, is my electric blanket, and it's an electric blanket, because I can show you, uh, come with me, um, that, right, see that, that is the connector to uh, that which is an electric kind of thingy that shows how much heat is being pumped out onto the blanket and it's lovely and I woke up from that with Nina Simone playing in the background because it's awesome and because my alarm is randomly awesome like that Okay, I'm going to stop now, because I'm just getting all silly now, so, good morning, everybody, and it's Friday, and it's the 19th, which means it's almost over, and I'm getting scared, so yeah, have a good day!